Muchas gracias. Hola. And bread with egg. And they have egg with uh, the Turkish sausage, which is really good. That one's actually really nice. How many? What do you want? This place is actually nice. It's very yeah. nice. Estamos desayunando aquí tranquilamente, cerca de donde dormimos. Y hoy jugamos contra Koi. Todo el mundo está de chill. Veo, veo Benji con mucha energía. Dice que ha dormido muy bien. Y tiene buena pinta el día. Vamos a ver qué tal. I feel like we're gonna win today. You will see, it's gonna be fun. Walk up in life. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my shit like. I'm really him, hold up. Look, walking this bitch like. Hey. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like. Hey. Estamos al backstage de donde se cocina todo lo que veis en casa. Ahora os lo vamos a enseñar. Aquí están haciendo la press conference Benji. No puedo, hay alguien mirando. La puerta. Bueno, aquí está BBL, cada uno tiene una habitación. Esto es el backstage, aquí no hay mucha cosa. Pero ahora vamos a hacer el stage. Aquí es donde esperamos antes de salir, de normal. Hay una, una línea que va a hacer el stage. ¿Es el turno por el que salís? Sí. ¿Se puede ir ahora? No preguntamos y pedimos perdón. Qué guapo, ¿no? Y aquí es donde jugamos. Los casters ahí suele estar Ulises y compañía de la WC. Aquí suele haber un caster turco, creo. Y aquí los casters oficiales, encima. Y estos son los equipos. Y luego están las sillas VIP, que están en el centro. Y los fans de los equipos se ponen detrás. Tengo que decir que en el podcast parece mal también. Ya, yeah, pero bueno, está muy bien. Claro, está muy bien. Hay mucho ambiente, ya lo verás. Cuando, supongo que te pondrás por arriba, ¿no? Pues imagino. Esto es Keikor. Aquí se hacen los fan meetings. Eh, después de los partidos, eh, vienes aquí, te pones aquí detrás y va pasando uno a uno. Y vas firmando cosas que quiere la gente, te haces fotos con ellos, hay como una media hora. O sea que si pagáis para venir, pues ya sabéis, tenéis un fan meeting después, podéis hacer fotos con esto que está muy guapo. Antes había algo de Champions. Welcome to Berlín, si te quieres hacer una foto aquí en medio también. Y luego aquí es donde está la comida, que ahora está cerrado porque no la han abierto. Pero... Eh, lo va a decir todo el mundo lo que acabo de decir. Está cerrado porque no está abierto, o sea, sí, me he dado cuenta después. Eh, aquí puedes dejar tus chaquetas. Esto es de aquí, no te las van a volar, tranquilos. Y podéis... ¿A quién se está diciendo eso? Eh, ¿Por qué estás dando por hecho que lo digo por alguien? Eh, eso es para comer. Eh, hacen tacos y cosas así. Y burritos y tal. Vale, pues ya está. Es pequeño, en verdad, no es muy grande. Bueno, a ver, el de la LEC es, es más pequeño, ¿eh? Para el espectador. ¿Ah, sí? No he ido nunca al de la LEC, la verdad. Para el espectador, sí, el backstage es más grande. Por este. aquí es por donde suben los espectadores y se, y se van hacia las gradas. Si Uf, quieres ver un... Sí, voy a subir. ¿Ves? Los espectadores normales tienen sillas, los de adelante un poco mejores y los de atrás un poco más pochas, pero bueno, está bien. Los VIPs tienen unas sillas que flipas. 
Eh. Aquí es donde hacen los co-streams la gente. Aquí ha venido Ibai, Lembo... Eh... ¿De, ¿De Heretics ha venido alguien alguna vez? Star, ¿no? Star. Ah, Star, es verdad. Star y Black. Pensaba que Gref, pero Gref creo que no ha venido nunca. Y están aquí. Con la cámara lo tienen todo preparado. Hostia, una cámara más grande. Sí, no, no es muy grande. Y aparte... Eh... No crea mucho ambiente porque no se ve. O sea, creo que deberían cambiarlo. Lo que pasa es que tienen que, que hacer esto, supongo, porque se ve claro, lo que pasa partida. en la pantalla. O sea, no, desde abajo podrías ver lo que está pasando. Claro, Estos sillones de aquí. Joder. Ya ves, está guapo, ¿eh? A mí dame el VIP, ¿eh? <risa> A, ver, A mí dame el VIP. Mí fucking este. café con fucking. <risa> Panza. Los que tienen panzas están aquí, normalmente. <risa> los del VIP al otro lado. Los mil euristas con. Ah, está, See, that's why, because he was holding it so low. Oh, sorry, was he? Sí, no te me esperaba esto. <risa> es que de repente me giro de estar el puto chuk. Sí, muy bien, muy bien. Contento de estar por aquí. Va a ser partidazo hoy. Qué loco. Qué bonito. Vosotros más, imagino. Sí, sí, sí. Yours. Gracias. No problema. No nos molestamos. A la caña. No nos vas a molestar. Ah, sí, sí. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? 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 One hundred percent. These two teams have a lot to show us right off the rip, just to fight to try and stay alive. And it is Team Heretics. I loved how the desk sort of touched on Ovova and that omen he was pulling out. Right now, Koi just looking for a little bit of early aggression, but it's actually a Northside Arcade pinch. It looked like Koi, after only finding the Cypher, thought the hit was going to go over towards A. And now they're caught slightly out of position, all playing over towards CT, try and fight out of these smokes. Yeah, heavy blitz on the way through, and you can just see Koi paying that respect as well, backing out. But they're still a little bit conscious, potentially a plant coming on the A side of here. You can still see the sky hanging out that way, but surely the call comes in here that everyone is hard hitting their way through. Plants going down, still watching out for the flank, but now Koi have got a battle their way back into the site. They just conceded control of perfectly timed TP out as well. And a couple of kills being traded back as Heretics find a few. Benji Fishy showing up in the first round. He is silent and a killer. We're not even seeing him on the screen as he finds two. Just keeping himself busy for sure, but Heretics come out fighting in that first round. Potentially if he's able to find a body after planting that, he can get that online for some late round info. Here we go as well, shows up right on top as well, comes out with that one, doesn't even find a target, that is not ideal for Kellogg's. Still, one for one, in fact two quick kills going back the other way. Down to a 4v3 for Koi, and Towers where it's at. Benji loves being in this spot, another big 2k for himself, now on the march on forts, and they get the pings onto these last two players. A right time swing here could very much end the round. Yes. Can they do at the back of this one? Oh, that's the last smoke used too, nothing to guard flashes. off tower. They've, they've got two flashes to play with. Just though, a so molly and a bird. And the bird might just be enough here to give them what they need, but got to try and find the man. They know that he's there, he hasn't rotated away, but it's the fear of what if he steps out and goes to the spray, there's no molly left here. There we go, Stark, so finding his man. So they're gonna rotate off a dish. Smoke's down. Is that commitment? Yeah, potentially they look for a reflank south side after the dog spotting nothing. And the breach flash was enough just to keep two players interested for long enough that they can now hit the site in a five versus two. B site is gone at this point for Heretics, unless we see some real Mixwell. big hero plays coming out. He's in the good oh, oh, Mixwell! And again, the man goes nuclear! Man's out of his seat! 
They can't be sat down, someone give them a seatbelt. Out in front of it. But they played B site so passively, so on site, now playing off as a matter of fact. Here we go. Oh no, Trex has the read. No, <laughs> finds his man as well, Boo down below. That's all they need though, that one entry is enough to give them site control once again. Heretics, they struggle to win these retakes as we've seen all half long. We'll give it to Benji Fishy. Has that north side flank coming, but he is zooming in. Stark so hurt him. Has to watch his left. Stark so has been on fire, but it's Wolf that even cancels out the opportunity for that one. We want to get to the close down. Koi, they are absolutely demolishing Heretics here. They'll take the first map, 13 and 8. Koi's attack looking nigh unstoppable. Mm. Alright, mm -hmm. so be confident, believe in your fucking selves, believe in the prep that we've done because it's really good, especially on, on the map we're about to play. And after we've fucking taken them on power, we'll come back out and hit them. Alright? Yep. Guys, this is where we take back control, yeah? So remember our language, take back control. Stop and think if we lose it, but we absolutely fucked him in this. Yeah. All waiting down and ready for this push to and come Koi in. And Koi won't expect a player down long either, because there's a lot there. They're going all the way back into deep sight. Mixwell finds one before being quickly traded. And Wolfen being so low HP here, Kolda has to go and hunt down for something. Or the clock is not going to go with them. Wolfen finds one. Oh, oh no! Two. That yeah, is absurd, but Kellogg's with that ghost makes it happen at the end. Koi managed to hold firm here. A 4v3 coming out. Sure, the Killjoy's coming down on top, but it feels like Koi have got this one locked down. Benji's got a couple of mollies to play with, though. They have to play off-site. What does Boo decide? Had the option to go for a late reflank, but there's not nearly enough time to make that one happen. Boo's been spotted out here, though. Him versus Trex. That could decide the round as Benji finds one more. He's on going. He's dropping utility here, bouncing it around. One more to find. It's just Shado standing here as well and wants to find his man. He's on the hunt, and I really thought for a second Koi could secure this one, but Benji with two kills coming in from A main has done all that's required. Sure, Shade has to step across, try and bait it out, but Benji finds a big 3K. Massive round for him, big round for the team. Who would win? You look at over in America's with a team like Crew, oh. there are options here. It's White's last chance. Cold fire, and it's White. Heretics are absolutely shredding inside of Art. Deleted them on the push through, and they had the right idea they had. All the information just couldn't win the gunfights. Destroys. Two left standing, they find one, but Benji, well, someone's fed in this morning because he is popping in this round here. Finds himself too. Gets traded out of here as well. A comfortable round for Heretics. But flank around. Looks like Heretics have been stalled out. They're not pushing off the flash. And that gives the opportunity, and Kellogg shuts it down. <laughs> Point blank range up on top as well. Looking for one more. Kellogg's is good for another. Three in the round with the up. Oh my god! He knows that he's being watched from a couple of different angles here. Bova's on the other side, finds one. Oh, Bova goes big with two and makes it a third! Heretics look cooked! Black now just waiting. Killjoy on top as well. So many ults coming out in this round that are just all working Stark against so. them. But Stark so gets in the back and goes nuclear. Trex one more. It's on to Benji. Seekers, players, everyone's coming, but Benji's still going. Shados has to protect Coldamenta. Everything, there's no time. Five seconds. It's winding away right from now. Heretics. And they've not got the time. They are going to find the last man. He's long tucked away. Job's done. Heretics force us through to the third. It's a repeat of what we had last time these two teams played. Now we fuck them on heaven. Last go. Last go. The last couple of rounds, you fuck them on Fucking go. Let's go. One more, heaven. Especially on those pistols. Mm. Like, but now there's the, the worry of a flank opportunity with the turret from Benji that will spot if anyone goes further than the window. But they're locked into A now. Fully committed on forward here. Shadows just dancing around the smoke here. Can he find anything with the oh. paranoia coming out? Not quite. Narrowly must have missed out there as well. They've got the controller sight they were looking for. Here comes a slight reflood, and it's an absolute slaughter. Hell really being given his name there as heretics are absolutely destroyed on the way through. Abova gets one back, but he can't quite find tracks. So he's really on his own for information. Yeah, using the seekers even too. It's a it's a tough spot to be on that sky with no one really spotting to help you. Has to use the entire kit. Spice smokes come out straight on top, and Kellogg's has none of it. Wants to force his way in, but Wolfen's going clay pigeon shooting. Kellogg's taking offline, looking for one more as well. Two quick kills coming in for Heretics. Down to a 3v3. Starkso's so, so, got a no! Starkso knows! He slaughters them! Three kills on the bounce to close 
things out. What a round for Koi. And with the lockdown coming in as well, Heretics, I don't know if they have time to actually fight forward. Double updraft from Wolf, and he's looking for something. It's not quite there. Boo wants something. One second, two seconds. There will be nothing afforded him. No players are taking it. They can now flood their way back forward. It's a retake upon retakes at this point. But Koi are going so aggressive towards Long. Kellogg's gets two for himself, but it's not quite enough. They're still where they need to be. A TP away, a Bova in the place that he loves being. A sewer rat crawling on forwards. And it's two kills for Heretics. That they can make use of on the defensive side, but you've just seen the mobility of Koi, the willingness to poke forward, find information, and rotate over towards the other side. They're fighting forward again. It's been their strong piece, but they're forcing in, yeah. And they aren't abandoning sight. No pretty tight. They have no idea that Wolfen yet again has just marched his way forwards. Showstopper comes out. It feels like too little, too late. Boo yet again has got it all to do against three players on the side of Koi to keep them in it. He's going to find one. But here we go. All comes out. It could not get much harder than this. Gets swung on. Colomenta closes it out. And yet again, Koi win the, the El Clasico. No podido ser. Han jugado mejor. Hay que ser, hay que ser honestos. El pick de Viper no se, no se ha hecho mucho daño. No, no, en Europa casi no se juega contra Viper. Nos ha costado mucho adaptarnos a ello. Y bueno. Guys, chill for a couple of minutes and we'll wait for okay? and trying so much. Uh, it is what it is, but I had a lot of fun. Same. Training every day and being with you guys, it's way better than the regular season. So thanks for that. And yeah, that's it. If you don't adapt, you're fucked. And we never practiced against their comp, so we were a bit hesitated and we didn't know exactly what to do and they play as well. Yeah. I'm super proud of everyone because I feel like we tried our fucking best. And that's it. Like, last season we didn't try our best. This time fucking I don't know, at least for me I feel like I give it my all and that's it. I don't forget anything. And I feel like it's the same for you guys so one, two, three. Shut <laughs> But you actually want to walk? No, it's just my back is dead, like, bro. My back is dead. I definitely I'm definitely gonna hit the storm. Bueno, chavales, aquí acaba la temporada para nosotros, la temporada de UCT. Eh, partido duro, pero me lo he pasado muy bien. El, en el equipo nos llevamos todos muy bien y hemos luchado hasta el final. Creo que el pick de de Viper de ellos nos ha hecho muchísimo daño. No hemos entrenado nunca contra una composición como esta, aunque aunque hayamos entrenado muy fuerte, pues eh, nos tendríamos que haber adaptado durante el partido, no teníamos ningún tipo de background de cómo teníamos que jugarlo y nos ha hecho mucho daño el Orben A, el muro de Viper para denegar el control para que Carlos no pueda estar en Ambi. Y en general ellos han jugado mejor que nosotros. Eh... Y poco más que decir. Muchísima suerte a Koi, a, a Cru y a Leviatán también, y a Fitiño. Eh, nosotros nos vamos mañana, pasado mañana. Muchísimas gracias por ver los vlogs y, y bueno, ya hablaremos más al detalle de, de lo que pasa en el futuro cuando, cuando se sepa y, y muchas gracias a todos. Nos vemos en el siguiente vlog.